the exact same fell he's, he's in a better position than he was for Sam Bones but the exact same fell the, the attacking players has got his body in front of the defending player he's gone down um, and he's not giving it which that's where the frustration comes chance for Conor Crowley at the far side and he's dragged it wide of the far post that's a big chance for Wexford that's a big big chance for Wexford and Vitislav Yaros now have a yeah it's a yellow card that's a seventh yellow of the season for Conor Crowley who's 23 now former UCD and Cabin TD midfielder coming to the end of his second season at Wexford he's been an almost ever present in the team over the last couple of years been captain on a number of occasions as well had a really good year and a half or so so far at Ferry Carrick Park and here's a really good pass to set Billy King to Dara Burns big chance here for the Saints and they've scored Dara Burns in the 34th minute here at Richmond Park what a pass through to the feet of Billy King to the feet of Dara Burns who's been in top top form for the Saints this season and Jerry hit the back of the net again to put them ahead in this cup tie yeah exactly and it's exactly what we were saying Jay um, you just got to keep passing the ball and keep probing to be honest with you I don't see you know a difference in how we're going to play with 10 men I know it's probably going to mean a hell of a lot more a little bit more excitement to the group because they're down to 10 men but I don't see it being an issue I think we're going to get plenty of chances in this game uh, it's great that Dara's managed to take that one as early as possible it gives us a great little uh, platform to build on now but um, yeah listen that's another excellent attempt of a pass from Chris Forrester and Burns was just uh, ready to have a little run in behind Moylan wanted another foul there on uh, Jamie Lennon but not given on this occasion despite the shouts from the Wexford bench you can see the tempo now of, of Pat's play Jay is just a l little bit more slower which it can be um, just probe a little bit more they've completely lost their sh their shape a little bit as well uh, and now they've gone from 5-2-2 uh, <coughs> two, two. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure they've, they've kept a 5 uh, but yeah it's um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see where Pats look to probe from half time team talk and where they can kind of get at is it still going to be on the outside I still think there's massive gaps through the middle being on the switch and then Billy can come in off that side here, is, Ki here is King now forced to run cross field and he plays it out to the feet of Jack Hickman and that's a lovely cross towards the box and brilliant goalkeeper by Jimmy Corker but a great touch by Burns Corker did brilliantly to just uh, stump out the dangers Maddie Smith raced in it broke to Dara Burns who initially took a good touch oh we went actually we didn't even know we won it <laughs> we were, the referee didn't even know we won it the that was the penalties with Conor O'Malley penalties, yeah we were actually sending someone up to take another penalty but um, the linesman said actually it's over so yeah but and at good times yeah. and, and hopefully we can get more, more trophies in Jay um, uh, certainly in the, in the coming months yeah Ian Birmingham and Chris Forrester still here's a chance for St. Pat's because Billy King could be in on the far side King is in and he's flashed one just wide of the far post it was a great ball I think by Jack Hickman as we were just having a look at uh, some of the other scores across the ground and Paul Fox is free here on the edge of the box if they, if they want to pass it to him it's actually a magic free kick off the training ground Fitzgerald to, to uh, Harry Groom but he's just dragged it wide of the far post and of course Gerald both teams <laughs> it's birthdays this time so get your requests in for, for the next home game yeah and if uh, Paddy Barrett's sister is watching from her wedding happy wedding I should hope not might have the live stream on you never know as the speeches are made but here are Wexford back on the attack and that's a nice pass by Moylan to Harry Groom who's 1v1 here a curling strike in the end uh, an easy enough save for a keeper of Vitaslav Yaros's ability uh, but oh he's not getting a free no free given <laughs> oh oh that's a loose pass a by chance. Fitzgerald Burns a in a really good defensive position to try and rob it he has robbed it he's found McCormick into the feet now of Burns who loves these scenarios and it's an early cross with the right foot flicked by Smith oh, and just wide of the far post but the pass we've shown this season they can be lethal on the counter attack Jaron almost showed he's able to get down that line and cross it and it, it's something that since he's come in even to the club from the younger setup that you're kind of encouraging and that's just flash wide of the far post by Moylan we actually did a, a FIFA 22 video earlier this week uh, Dara and Shane Griffin were down here in Richmond to reveal come in from that side um, off the left yeah and, and Ben would probably a little bit, be a little bit more central than, than what Billy does and you can see him kind of drifting out to that area it'd be that half space but this is what more so Alfie coming on that he can drop in and dictate the tempo in the play and, and move us around and 
and move Wexford around and look look to make them passes. So here goes Chris Forrester on the attack, and that's a lovely ball into Burns. Dara Burns, he has made it 2-0 to St. Patrick's Athletic. What a finish by Burns, a fifth goal of the season. Again, another assist from Chris Forrester, who's been in such good form. Turned by Smith into Forrester. What a run by Burns. And Jared the Saints lead 2-0. A double for Dara Burns here at Richmond Park. And St. Pat's two up in the cup quarterfinal. Nothing better, Jay, when you make a change like that. And, and, and just straight away an instant impact. It's really good, really positive. And it's a great finish by Dara. I think Larkin Fitzgerald will be a little bit disappointed. He's actually read the ball. I think it might be Matty Smith who played it. Um, he's red he's kind of gone he, he's gone into that zone he's kind of left the, the centre of the pitch open and Dara's kind of gone in uh, you know no. only 34 as well of course had a great career in the League of Ireland with Shamrock Rovers Shelburne Longford Dundalk Drada and UCD and here possibly could be a chance for Hickman he's going to step in he loves to shoot Jack instead though he's fe- fed Burns who's in a position to have a go Paul Cleary and Burns cross to the back post left footed and it's there's a Ben McCormick at the back yeah. it is coming around starting to become prolific with that head isn't he yeah and that's another example of the wet forget and just set Alfie Lewis in there just, just don't give anything away just don't give Wexford a chance to try and get themselves back into the game I think that was a shot by Cleary and it's just broken and flashed wide Arnold. it's good effort it's good turn nice and sharp in TU Dublin Blanchardstown in the Mark Farron Cup and then league action here at Richmond Park on Sunday 2 o'clock the under 19s as they continue preparations for the UEFA Youth League they're here in the league against area 2 o'clock as that ball over the top he's I was not, given the fixtures I was, given the, I was given the fixtures thinking but a goal for Wexford at any time as Jerry mentioned would just make things interesting and that crossfield ball oh great touch by Considine lovely pass by Fitzgerald great touch by Considine Back to Jack Moylan now, who is a tricky player. I just want to avoid giving away a penalty here, St. Pat's, if at all possible. And a really good defend. And it was actually Lennon, who's uh, playing at centre back this evening and doing a great job since the seventh minute here. Diagonal ball, Fox across the box. It's a great ball. And Evan Farrell went with it for his head with his with his foot, Jer. And I think if he tried to dive in header here, he probably would have scored. It's so here goes Chris Forrester. Is he going to be fouled by Paul Cleary? He is, and it's St. Patrick's athletic penalty. Oh, come the Wexford, on, Dara. The, come on, Dara. The Wexford <laughs> captain, will they give the ball to Dara Burns? And as he mentioned, Cochran looking to get himself back in the goals, given his recent injury. So, Ronan Cochran against Jimmy Corcoran from the penalty spot here at Richmond Park in the FAI Cup. And it's 3-0, right in the bottom corner. An eighth goal of the season for Ronan Cochran.